At Yale University, a partially remembered alleged incident, 35 years old. Will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now front and center in the high-powered fight over a crucial pick for the highest court in the land. Yes or no? Well, is there a person you're talking about? I'm asking you a very direct question, yes or no? The claim? At an alcohol-fueled party in 1983 or 84, Brett Kavanaugh exposed himself in a very aggressive way to Debbie Ramirez when both were freshmen and both were drunk. I never did any such thing. Never did any such thing. The other people alleged to be there don't recall any such thing. If such a thing had happened, it would have been the talk of campus. The claim has added a layer of worry, angst, and protest for many on the political left over a nominee and his nominating process. Brett Kavanaugh is the best candidate on the horizon. Yale Law Professor Akhil Reed Amar, a self-described liberal Democrat, testified on Kavanaugh's behalf and wrote an editorial in the New York Times supporting his appointment based on the legal strength of Judge Kavanaugh's written decisions. As a constitutional scholar, read what Judge Kavanaugh, as a judge, has written, and I thought that this overall work product placed him at the very top of all sitting federal Republican judges. He now has second thoughts. I have second thoughts because a second issue has arisen, and it's an issue about which, frankly, I don't have the facts. I don't think any American yet has the facts. Amar wants to hear what Judge Kavanaugh's accusers have to say and judge for himself if he thinks the claims are credible and should bar Kavanaugh from sitting on the Supreme Court. In a statement, James Roche, Kavanaugh's freshman roommate, remembers him as a normally reserved but a notably heavy drinker. Roche, a close friend of Debbie Ramirez, says he has no knowledge of the incident she describes but that Kavanaugh could become aggressive and belligerent when he was very drunk. When he was at Yale as an undergrad, he joined a fraternity known as Delta Kappa Epsilon. Haley Fuchs and Britton O'Daly reported deeply on Judge Kavanaugh's time at Yale. This is a fraternity that heavily, heavily drew from the athlete scene at Yale, right? So Brett Kavanaugh is this guy, he liked to play a little bit of basketball at the side, wrote about sports for the Yale Daily News, was a big fan of that crowd. One picture appearing in the Yale Daily News during those years of DKE members, but not Kavanaugh, raising a flag made from female student undergarments. It indicates the sort of fraternal hijinks, some say misogynistic activities, carried out by members of DKE during Judge Kavanaugh's time in the fraternity. It was sort of a lot of hijinks and um, a lot of kind of like debauchery and like rowdiness that was right. very characteristic of D. CNN contacted dozens of Judge Kavanaugh's classmates. Of those that did respond, many described DKE as a hard parting fraternity. Most had positive memories of Kavanaugh, but not all. One woman called him an aggressive, obnoxious drunk, saying his fraternity was misogynistic. One classmate who was in the same secret society, truth and courage, as Kavanaugh say they drank but never saw him in a state where he wasn't in control. A female classmate who knew Kavanaugh well found the allegations shocking, saying she remembers Kavanaugh as an extremely intelligent and extremely nice and sensitive man. I'm just asking for a fair process where I can be heard and defend my integrity and defend my family's integrity.